Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, just to get things out of the way, right up front, this is a politics-free stream. Um, I, I know there are big events going on. I have kept up with said events. I need to take a breather, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. So, this stream is going to be politics-free. You get precisely one warning, after which either myself or one of the mods will mute you. We won't ban you. We're not that mean. Yet. That, that's more of a second offense kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now that that's all said and done, this monstrosity is the incomplete tree farm. Uh, it's what I was working on for the most part uh, a lot of the weekend. It is, I don't know, three quarters of the way there. It's been, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of work. Um, at some point in the near future, some grass will go, or grass, some carpet will, <laughs> will go right over here. And all you'll have to do is hit a lever stand here and uh, point your saplings at the back of that observer and, and then watch the magic happen. Uh, I think this part is mostly done. There, there might have been a few utterances of words that shall not be named. Um, oh, I almost forgot. There's a cap that's going to have to get wired in later too. Because, are you kidding me? I can't get these things when I want to at any other time. Go away. I get so many of them when I don't want them. Ah. Okay. There we go. Nap time. Maybe that'll make the cranky Yankee less cranky. Not likely. So, uh, yeah, the the way that the way this is set up, it, or the way this is more or less going to be set up is when there'll be a second lever above uh, or near that observer that I'm pointing to. And if you're going to grow oak, you'll hit that lever and a little uh, flying machine will descend from the top to deposit a block capping off how tall the oak tree goes. So that way it, you don't get one of those really big gnarly oaks with all the random bits of wood floating around. And it keeps it to the small ones that are easy to pack out and crank out. And then if you're going to grow anything other than oak or dark oak, you hit the lever again. And it brings the little flying machine back up to the top and, uh, and then takes care of that. So the sapling will grow. The three sides will come in, crush all... I'm falling into my basement there. Uh, the three sides will go in and crush all the leaves and then uh, the pistons will push the logs. And they'll head out this way. They'll come out this way. I'm working on this part here which will then push the logs this way. And uh, I think once I get them back this way uh, somewhere here-ish, I'll be building all the all the redstoney bits that will take that uh, wall of logs and compress it down to a stream of blocks that I can redirect to the blast chamber, wherever that's going to be. And I still need to figure out where that is. Uh, I think I'll wait until this is done, and then I might. I might set the blast chamber back this way a little bit, possibly, thinking. Uh, so I can move the storage up closer to the lake. And um, when, so we'll need storage silos uh, for acacia, birch, spruce, oak, jungle. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting one. Hello, Beach Duck. How you doing? Um, yeah, I'm missing, uh, six of the seven trees will be, will be grown here. 
and I'll need so I'll need a six storage silos, one for each of those. I'll need another one for cobble, because if I've got the if I've got the blast blast chamber all set up, I might as well put a a, a small scale cobblestone generator together and uh, and then pump that into the blast chamber. So that way, if we forever for whatever reason we need more cobblestone than what we have, we can. Uh, crank that out quick. I'll probably do the same thing for basalt, even though I don't I don't see us needing that much basalt at the moment. Yet. Um but I mean why not, right? We've got it. Might as well build it. Uh we've got more blackstone than we'll ever know what to do with, and that's courtesy of the uh the piglin farm. Which I need to take a quick sojourn to anyway. Uh, for a couple of reasons. The first of which is... Uh, uh oh, somebody uh, hit the respawn without recharging it. I haven't had a chance to recharge it. That was a ah. sent. Hey, there you are. I was wondering if you were going to join in. No, I just didn't want to talk while you were in the middle of... Oh, appreciate that. Hi guys. This little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. I need to stock up on ender pearls. I've been <laughs> going through more than a few of them, and surprisingly enough, I, I I need some. I need to replenish some of the uh, arrows too. You see, where I'm building the tree farm, there happens to be a patrol that likes to wander through. And uh, I, I might have had to um, discourage a couple of patrols from... Oop, stuck in the web. Oh, come on. Or serious. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's a patrol that likes to spawn over here. Oh, hey, there's another, uh, there's another shaft. I wonder if we've gone... Nope, we have not... Oh, hello! Uh, nope, we have not gone exploring down there. We, we might need to do that at some point. Anyway, th there's a patrol that likes to spawn around this lake. I've seen them come from that side over there a couple of times. Um, they, they've come from the woods over here, although not as much since I've uh, cut back the woods a little bit. Uh, it was probably about the second patrol that came through that maybe go hunt down old Betsy here so I could have a ready supply of uh, milk at hand. And that's made life a little easier. Of course, since I've been better prepared for the raids, they haven't shown up, which, of course. Um, why not? I need to grab my redstone assortments. And I need to find some more rockets and a bucket of lava. You wouldn't have enough of a bucket of lava, would you? Oh, do. You do? Oh, good. Of course I do. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have thought about that one a little more, shouldn't I have? <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about this. I have a redstone box. What do you think is in my redstone box? Redstone? No. Oh. Red <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that that's how many endermites I've gotten with all the ender pearls I've tossed. Enough that I actually have two endermite heads. Th those don't drop all that frequently. Uh, I still haven't I still haven't figured out that roof. I'm avoiding that for now. I I've been thinking a lot about how I'm going to light up this roadway. And I got a couple ideas. I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing first, because the big thing is how I'm, I'm going to extend signal without skipping lamps. And I think, I think the secret sauce to make all that work is going to be target blocks. Which means 
I'm going to need a lot of wheat. Because we're going to have to have one of those target blocks about every 15 blocks or so. He says tentatively. Until he finds out he's wrong again. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. I, I, I don't even know why some of these are... Never mind. We're just going to carry on. Although, once we get the tree farm down, we can actually cut back... <laughs> no pun intended. A lot of these. Like, we won't need our little mini acacia farm... Uh, we'll still need the dark oak, the dark oak forest. Uh, we won't need the tall jungle trees unless Medic Lake's having them there. Uh, we won't need our little mini spruce forest unless Medic wants to keep it there. Uh, I also need to figure out where around here there is a uh, skeleton spawner. I know there was one somewhere under here. I came across it long after I'd run out of torches. But, uh... <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, I got my first hoglin head. <laughs> Yet, they don't drop as, uh... as frequently as I would have thought. Those guys hit Wait, the, the, the hoglin or the piglin? No, the hoglin. Okay, I see it in the eyes. The, the four-legged one. <laughs> Uh, you mean the big, mean ones that hit you really, really hard? Yeah, those guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a lying hobo. No lava? I can get you some. Eh, I'll get some in a little bit. Because one of the things that I need to do is fix a mistake that I made over here. Um... I built the bamboo farm so that way, I'd, you know, slowly accumulate bamboo, which is great. Uh, the problem is, I thought what I would be able to do is uh, feed all the overflow into a composter. Guess what doesn't compost? If you said bamboo, you would be correct. Because of course it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, who, who would have thought that there was a plant in Minecraft that doesn't compost? Ah, well. You're out the flower farm then? So what? The flowers compost, don't they? Oh yeah, no, 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 that wasn't the, the... The whole thing that I wanted is I wanted this system set up so that way... Um, when when it was full, it didn't matter. It wouldn't back up. So the initial idea was just have all the overflow go into compost. And, and that way we'd still get bone meal out of it, which is a perennial necessity. Uh, since it doesn't, I, I guess I'm going to have to do something a little different. I just uh, I haven't figured out what yet. But, uh, but it's not going to be a composter. I think. I think what I'm going to do is just put together a regular, uh... There we go. Put together a regular, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh, doggone it. Drawing a blank. <laughs> I shouldn't be drawing a blank. I had coffee and everything. I have coffee and everything. And I didn't mix it with whiskey this time either. This time. Oh, I, I might put together just a regular dispenser or... I may, uh, I may figure out once, um, like maybe once this last hopper is full, 
it turns the whole thing off. Grazie. Oh, oh, just, I, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll put them to use somewhere. I need to stock back up on carrots now, too. Um. All right, I know we'll get an... to steal a shulker box. That's where I put those. <sighs> I was looking for that. Where did... Oh, 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 that's right. All the uh, empty shulker boxes are in another castle. Uh, <laughs> no, there's... Uh, a bunch of empty shulker boxes that are currently being used for uh, zombie flesh. I've got them over at the chapel. And I've been trading relentlessly with the uh, the clerics over at the chapel for uh, trading them zombie flesh for uh, redstone dust and glowstone. Because I know I'm going to need a lot of redstone dust once it comes time to do this lighting project. Um, yeah. I've also been trying to think about the, um, the fact that we're going to need tons of bone meal for that tree farm. Uh, that's why I'd really like to find the skeleton spawner that, that's over here. So that way we could try to get something like that going. And maybe get a giant kelp farm that that is its sole purpose is to uh, is to just feed into an array of composters. What do you think? <laughs> Honest opinion, or <laughs> uh, sure, sure, give it to me straight. I think you're losing your mind. <laughs> what? You, you really don't think Reyes isn't going to need, like, a bajillion tons of something or another? Uh, no, I'm, I'm uh, fairly uh -huh. certain she will, but... <laughs> Still. <laughs> Alright, I rest my case. We're, we're going to need to be prepared for requests of bajillions of tons of things. And uh, and that's just all there is to it. Make me feel any better about the situation. <laughs> oh, did, did I say I was going to make you feel any better about this? Because I don't remember saying I was going to make you feel any better about any of this. <laughs> I, I don't remember that being part of this at all. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, Fair good, enough. good. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I redirect. Oh, I didn't mean to go that far. Dang, that dirt getting there. Nope. Nope. This is actually filling up a little more than I expected. I. I wonder. That that might not be a bad idea either. Uh, let me. Can I finish a thought out loud? No, no, I cannot. I'm apparently incapable of finishing a thought out loud today. Something, something, sleep, something. All right. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll go redirect this top row of hoppers get a second row of chests so there'll be two double chests at each two double chests at each one of the plants here um and then and then and then no uh What's the end then thing that Corrales always does? 
and then pull a signal from the back of here that turns this off once that hopper is full. Hmm. Can I pull that off? I thought I was taking a break from Redstone today. I'm about to save you from yourself, don't worry. Oh no. How, how, <laughs> how are you planning on saving me from myself? <laughs> how it's how nothing. worried should I be? Huh? It's nothing, buddy. We're just gonna... We're just gonna work on that project for us, that's all. Uh, which one? The lighting project? No, because that's more redstone. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Bad feeling about this. Hey, did I craft a shulker box for some reason? Yes, I did. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, those are my two options. Run another set and have the bamboo shut down automatically once the top hopper is full. Or... Or just run this over into a trash disposal like what we got under um, under the community storage and a few other places and just burn up all the extra as it comes in. I don't like that option. No, I do not like that option, Sam. I am. All right, let me figure out how to turn this thing around. Nope. Without dropping stuff on the ground. Let's get those in there. Let's grab my wrench. Come on. Did I rotate that I didn't intend to? <laughs> well, that's the downside to this wrench is every now and again you you will unintentionally move something you didn't mean to. All right, that's going forward. That's going forward. That's going forward. That's going forward. That's going forward, and that one's going forward. All right, I love it when a plan comes together. I need some chests. Oh, I need to sleep. And my character needs to sleep too. Hmm? I was walking towards the community center and all of a sudden that sleep bar pops over my head. <laughs> oh. Uh, you shouldn't see the bar anymore. I thought I turned that off. I don't see the boss bar in my end anymore. Or did it change it for just me? Saw it. I didn't catch all that. Uh, I saw it, so you must have just changed it for yourself on that one. Interesting. Uh, I do need to... Uh... Why are you looking at me like that? That blank look in your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Holy it's mother time. wither skulls. It's time to go, buddy. It's time to go. To go cheese us in the end? Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're going to do it properly. By cheesing it in the end. <laughs> I don't think that works anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. You just got to get the elevation right. You can show me how I'm doing it wrong. Because <laughs> uh, I don't have the elevation right either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you 
doing? I got these 290 levels. Well, okay. If you're not going to help, you don't get paid the apples. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Golden apples are easy to come by. No, I, I do need now. to get myself I do need to get myself a beacon or two, but uh that's not a that's not a now. That, that's uh I need to do that later. I was about to say this is the process to get them. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I thought we already had a spot set to cheese it out in the end. No, no, they fixed that when we went into sixteen. I I still don't think they fixed it like that though. Because his head still goes up into the the end stuff. It's just you gotta uh, you gotta get it right so he's in the middle or something. Like there's there's a spacing thing. I don't know, man. Every time I've done it, he's gotten loose, and I've had to either hunt him down or just let him fall into the void. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I can't remember if our the problem is that we got the elevation too high or he's off centered. Because I'm, I'm. All right, I'll, I'll look into that later. Let, let me. Th this has been bothering me that it has no off, and no overflow protection. One or the other. I, I just need one or the other. Of course, if you die and lose everything, oh, hey, uh, how many uh, totems did you bring with you? Uh, I've got about 20. <laughs> wow. Okay, I haven't accumulated that many yet, but I haven't done as many uh, turns at the raid farm yet. Yeah, I've been stocking up. This project's going to be a massive one, and that's still not enough heads, but... Yeah, I, I was going to... That's still a lot more than I would have expected. I, I, I didn't yeah. realize that uh, that many had accumulated. Yeah, that's just what I've done. I don't know how many uh, medic may have on standby. Ah. Oh, Died is he the one that's been hoarding them? Getting them. So that's going to need to go... Uh, I need... I need to make some comparators. I need six. Then uh hitting up the redstone merchants. And then smooth the stone. Oh, I need to top off my nether quartz too. Don't let me forget to do that. Hmm, what'd you say? Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're welcome. Are you going to do this dastardly deed with all the uh, all the withers, the smithers withers? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, I could do it right here in the middle of uh, town, I guess. Hmm. Uh, sure, and I'll let you be the one that fixes everything too. I was thinking maybe out at the uh, terracotta place just because, well, oh. it's not going to break anything. It, out it already looks like a blasted landscape. 
ってか。No, why did I?、Oh. Putting totems away instead of wrenches and. Next thing you know, I'm going to be looking for that framing hammer I just can't seem to find. So I'll go make another wrench. I was waiting to see if Peach Duck reacted to that one. Triggered and now she doesn't. Alright. I mean, could really be that simple. Because I've already got the.、Uh, Oh, but that's gonna. That's gonna turn off the whole line, isn't it? Because the idea is that gets full, that reads that it's full, and powers this block, which powers the dust, which powers the target block,、uh, which should power the piston? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Unintended consequences. Unintended consequences galore. That is not the way to go about it. Stone up there. I don't think I actually tested that out. To switch from the target block to.、Uh, oh, no, that answers that question. I did need the redstone. Must I be assaulted? Might as well pick up that last little bit. Orange. Way to、uh, fix this up. Going to be. No. What? Oh, come on.
surely that did it right? No. What in the world? Did that do it? Nope. Yes. There we go. Alright, now it's going again. Interesting. Holy mother netherite, Batman. Do not and show that to Reyes. Want it? Alright, let's go. No, because I need ancient debris. You know, Pixel Rifts is um, 400 and some odd ingots away from having a full netherite beacon. Wow. Yeah. That's a little scary. <laughs> That's a little bit of a flex, isn't it? Like, I mean, there's flexing <laughs> and then and then there's that. Mm. Yeah. Why wouldn't that work? Let, let, let's back up on that one again. Let's uh, let's simulate the original plan. Where's a uh, torch? Because if all I do is power that guy, that does nothing. Okay, so that wouldn't work. Does that not power the redstone? That should power the redstone. Yeah. And that should... Arr. Great. Final offer. No, oh, that's not nearly enough. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do you know how much of that stuff I need to do the nether tree farm? 22 per. Ugh. Did I not get the right one? No, I didn't get the right one. Oh. I'm falling. Maybe that's what I just... Maybe that's what I need to do. Power that top block. Okay, that's not too hard. We can do that. If I power that top block. That should that should power the piston. sure all the pistons stay extended too. Uh, let me go grab some more orange wool. And I need six repeaters. and quartz, aren't they? Hmm. 
No. Oh, because oh, I was trying to craft that in my internal inventory. I, uh... At least six. Probably gonna need more. going to take the minuscule thing, the signal out from under there. At least when the first one... Oh! Uh -huh. No, nah, that should be okay. Never mind. I, I just realized that that means that the way this is currently set up... Um... So, that piston fires, that breaks off that bit of bamboo, it comes down in here uh, for the split bit that it goes in here and then into the hopper or in here down to the next one. Uh, during that interval, it will power this and power the piston again, but since nothing's there, the only thing it'll do is stop it from growing one higher. Uh, but only for that moment, because once the bamboo finishes passing through, that'll turn that off and turn this whole thing off. So it just means that it'll uh, kill the effectiveness just a little bit by removing a small window of uh, time for this to to grow another bamboo. I, I think we'll live. Still kind of mad that that doesn't compost. Are you seriously telling me the bamboo doesn't compost? I'm gonna be kind of cranky about that for a while. I mean, technically, I guess it may not actually compost. Use it for furniture and buildings over there in Asia. Yeah, but there's lots of stuff that you use for furniture and buildings and whatnot that does compost. I mean, it's a it's a it's a natural item. It should decay. I mean. Good. Maybe not at the speed of which we assume that these decay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, ooh, you know, we don't have we don't have a cocoa I'm, bean farm either. Don't look at it like that. That's not a proper farm. That's a place where it is. Nah. Oh. To save you from yourself, man. No more breadstone. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's part of the game. It is fun. It hey, is hard it's to your stop. your brain. You can burn it out yourself. <laughs> your choice. Uh, Remember, you got a hard, a little a huge path to do, too. Yeah, no. I wonder. Would that work just as well if those weren't target blocks? Would that work if that was glazed terracotta? Hmm. Looks I should... I should be able to... Make those guys. I'm gonna need to replace that with something though. Because right now, those were the things that. Did I just see another one of those rotten little endermites? I swear I'm gonna buy some plush, stuffy endermites. Hang them around my desk or something. Set the loot table so Endermites give you something good when they die. Then I'll never get them again. I mean, is the solution really just to throw more uh, target blocks at the problem? Well, it's the simplest option, which means that it probably is. Uh. 
I'm still trying to figure out why why powering the target block didn't extend the piston anyway. Was it because of the way I had it powered? Nope. No, that is definitely powered. That is powering the line. Actually, what I'm thinking of doing is, is using this to power a piston to move a power source up to uh, to power the uh, the pistons, like either piston up a redstone block or something like that. Uh, easiest way to do that would be to use slime and or honey. Um, the only problem is I'm worried about the slime and or the honey moving the target block. Um, let me go get some glazed terracotta, see if, uh, see if maybe I over-engineered it a little bit and I didn't need the target blocks in the first place. No, I don't have any with me. Shouldn't that redstone line be one higher than where you have it? Nope. I, I tried it one higher. It doesn't power what you think it's going to power. I'm thinking that's the line to shut it off, right? Hmm? No. No, that's not the line to shut it off. Um, or is the target block there to get the, the bone meal portion of this endeavor working too? Oh, that might have been it. Looks like... This looks like your standard, I'm trying to stop it because it's backflowing thing. Yes, but it's not connected to anything. That right, all right. Um, I had cobblestone behind the observer up there. So the observer okay. would see the bamboo grow and power that orange wool or cobblestone that was there. That would power the redstone dust and the block below it, and that would cause the piston to extend to break that out. The nice thing was, as long as that dispenser had bone meal in there, uh, the bone meal would pulse when the piston pulsed, and it would enter a little bit of a cycle and it would rapidly bone meal the, the plant until the machine ran out of bone meal and, and get you a ton of bamboo quick. I want to keep that function. So if you do want to if you do want to get some rapid bamboo, you can. I'm just trying to do this in such a way that um, you can also uh, oh. uh not so much turn it off as um uh... all right let's uh let's do this first oh i need to uh need to get this guy to power real quick wait oh that because it's not powering the oh, because I forgot to put the redstone dust there. Derp, derp. There we go. So that's gonna break that, and that's still stop pushing the button. All right. So as long as we got the terracotta there, the normal function works, and. 
And if I reach in the front here and fill that dispenser with some bamboo, or with some bamboo, with some bone meal, let's just accelerate this process real quick. Oh. Oh, interesting. All right, so it doesn't hit that rapid cycle like I thought it would. Uh, it bone meals it just the once. So that's why I got the target blocks there. Um, do you know slime blocks and honey blocks stick to note blocks? I don't. I don't remember. Because I might be able to get away with using a note block instead of a target block. They also conduct a redstone signal similar to. stops after a while they, they stick to no blocks oh hmm all right well that's not gonna help uh since you get that out do target block stick I mean I'm pretty sure they do Hang on, I get a couple extra. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh you play in them. Those guys are there. Let's try. Oh. Come on. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> you know it's really not funny when you start doing that kind of stuff on that log farm. And you don't realize it until you get further on, and he goes, three blocks up from the observer you put a minute ago, and you look, and you go, there, there's not a space three blocks up from the observer, though. And then you realize, oh, all those are off by one. And then you got to tear part of it down and back up a little bit. And then you get a little further and he goes, oh, no, no, sorry. I meant two blocks. Like, <sighs> All right. And then we're done with this section. Oh, I almost forgot. While you're up at the top, you should still. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. All right. All right. I'm going to leave these here. Let me. Uh. Did I get all of them? Nope. Nope. Just the one. Okay. Three. Four. Six. All right, they're all set now. Good. All right, that part works. 
and I do that. That works. Oh, that also doesn't. Oh, interesting. What changed? That used to get into an endless loop until the dispenser was empty of bone meal. But now it doesn't. Is it because I changed that top block to a target block? Do I actually need a full block there? because I foolishly thought this was going to work on the first try. Ha <laughs> ha! When has that ever happened? Not today. How you doing? <laughs> Alright, so I get a solid block back in the back again. That's pretty much like I had it. The fact that it's wool and not cobble, that doesn't make a difference. That's not a difference that makes a difference. Take just a little of that because I don't want to burn through too much. Huh. Okay, something something changed with an update since I last put it together? I don't know. Ah well. Not um getting too distracted again. need to go anyway. Like... <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to examine what's happening here. <laughs> it looks like it's not pulsing enough. Like it's only getting this down here to fire when that up there fires, that's what's causing the circle. Boy, that circle's not happening because the bone mill only produces one stick sometimes, and that stops the process. Yeah, but... Um, no, that, that used to go till empty. Like, I filled one of those dispensers halfway with bone meal and just let it run, and it ran. Uh, yeah, but at 16.2... They lowered the amount of uh, that bone meal actually did to stuff, um, which is what's happening. Because I'm guaranteeing that it wasn't that it would just quote unquote run forever. It was that it kept growing up to the point of the observer, and it's not doing that anymore. Because they lowered how much bone meal. Vines yeah, but it, and... it's no, no, no. Because then it wouldn't have. Then the dispenser wouldn't be at 15 right now. It would be. I've been pulling from it to do the thing. <laughs> to duplicate the process so I can watch it. Okay, so you're screwing with my numbers that are tell giving me different answers. Gotcha. Of course. I work for a health system. <laughs> I'm just going to sip my coffee. Yep, that's all I'm going to do is <laughs> sip my coffee. <laughs> Here I was thinking I was going to get to more than just this one thing, too. I also thought I was just going to throw a dispenser and be done with it. I don't, I don't know why I bothered getting stuck in this uh, overflow thing, but now that I've... 
that I've thought about doing that. I can't get that idea out of my head. I will um. win. <laughs> I just find it ironic that the name of the stream is uh, Relaxing Odds and Ends. I am relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> the target block directly is not bud powering the piston like I thought it would. Is that the other thing? Did I originally have target blocks on the one that worked and I changed it for some reason? Now, now I'm questioning everything. <laughs> well, no, because I already tried it with the glazed terracotta, so... Well, if it's not working like it did before... Anyway, maybe, maybe that's the answer anyway, is to place these guys with glazed terracotta. Still working on this side. Oh, I'm gonna have to go pulse all these guys in a minute. Uh, and then, and then, and then. <laughs> yeah, Corral is stuck in the head. Let me grab any more sticky pistons. Always. Four, five, six, six of those. I got the redstone, I got a bunch of cobble, a bunch of planks, and six of those. Like so, and like so. I right, get six, and then bam. Some honey blocks and some slime blocks. Do I just push a redstone block up? Is that far enough away from the piston that I don't need to worry about it? Because we need to alternate slime and honey and slime and honey. Are you doing something on the other side? Uh, I'm attempting to sleep. Um, that doesn't look like attempting to sleep. That looks does, like creating a fine garden around the bed. To look at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding uh, down the mouse button, right. and you keep asking me stuff, so I look up at you, and I, yeah. <laughs> Think of it like it's muddy because we keep walking over here. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's too early to sleep. But it's storming. No, it's raining. That's different than storming. Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stamping out the red? <laughs> Duck back. I don't know. She hasn't said hi to me, so. Well, I think I got you a little quiet on my end. Did you change the volume settings on yours? No, I just keep pulling my mouth away from the mic. 
No, I think I still got you quieter than you were last week. Or not last week, but uh, the last time you were on. Mm. Week before last. Yeah. You know what I meant. Yep, yep. I should top off my uh, slime blocks and honey blocks at some point, too. Yeah, we really do need to figure out what where that is. <laughs> yeah, um, I've got, I know I've got a spot over by my beach hut base that is definitely a slime chunk. I just don't know which chunk it is. Um, because the, the cave area is small. It was my intention at some point to get a haste 2 beacon going and um, and just decimate a few chunks worth of space and see where it might be. In the hopes of finding it. Um, okay, so I need to... I need to clear my inventory. Not the components. Um... Maybe the yes of the components. Those go in there. Those go in there. Those will go in there. Those will go there. Um, let's craft as much of that back up into blocks. The cobble can go there. The smooth stone can go there. How did I get an apple in my inventory? Never mind. I don't want to know. All right. Uh, a string or something in my microphone sticking out from the uh, the guard there. that in there for now. Oh, uh, you got a spot for torches already. All right, I need to simulate one of... The, wait. Doggone it. Oh! <laughs> well, that is both good and bad. That is... <laughs> some of those have two, some of those have three. Uh, yeah, remember that quick redstone pulse that I, that I told you about? That's fast enough that the, uh, the piston leaves... Leaves, uh the item. Well, at least I know I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about one item interfering with the other. the extra honey block <laughs> I wonder if that's going to be enough delay nope that that didn't clear like it should That helped. Which other ones are stuck? This guy's stuck.
Um. Well, shoot. That. Mm. Let's try this again. Let's try circling back around. That worked. Or is it because there's still uh, some bone meal left? Oh, because that dispenser's full of bone meal. Okay. Trying to test normal function. Okay. Here's the question. What happens if, um... If one of those guys is full. Let's do this. Let's grab... Two redstone blocks. Because that's going to lock that one, right? It's going to power that, and that's going to do that, and that is not going to extend. Mm. That's not going to extend out the piston. And if that stays up too long, that doesn't retract like it should. New plan. That's not going to work. Let's think about this a minute. Shall we? can't believe I was overconfident enough to say odds and ends plural like there might be more than one thing happening just me fighting with this you know let's set this one aside for a minute we'll come back to that Trade for 12 bamboo? Or does that only work on Hermitcraft? Yeah, that only works on Hermitcraft. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let's grab my screenshots there. And... Somewhere in here, I got another project box. <laughs> oh, I forgot I did that. So, uh, someone on a Hermitcraft had a really small purper farm put together. It's semi automatic because of the way purper farms work. Um, and I took a couple of screenshots of it and I left myself a piece of paper named the name of the screenshot so I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> um, I, I, also, I also have some of the weeping and twisting vines because I was going to try to set up a little automatic farm for those guys too. 
they, they, they function pretty much under the same principle as this guy does. Uh, and it's one of those things that I don't think we have to make a big one because I don't know that anybody's actually using the weeping or twisting vines right now. Are they? It's not that hard to harvest them. Uh, sure. If you want to go running around for hours on end, or you could just walk up to the box that already has a couple of stacks and, you know, that, that's the same idea with the bamboo. Yeah, technically, it's not that hard to go to a bamboo forest and, you know, harvest a bunch of bamboo um, until you need enough scaffolding to build a chapel, and then you struggle to find bamboo, which is what this project was born of. Because <laughs> I, I needed scaffolding for the chapel project. Uh, oh, you can see the roof from over here. Wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not the tallest building in the area, but it's going to be a contender. No, it's Maybe the that's what building. I do. I, instead of uh, instead of fighting the the height on the roof, uh, double down the other way and just make that the the tallest roof, so it becomes the tallest building in the area until somebody builds a taller one. Why why don't we just go ahead? and chop that roof some make a uh, stable roof and mm -hmm. then go ahead and put a, a bell tower on the front end well there was going to be a bell tower yes um saying if you want the tallest building a bell tower on top of that we'll give it to you i think yeah, the only no, that... thing taller than you is the portal We can fix that. Exactly. The question is: Is exactly. that is that the, is that really what I would really? I mean, is that really what I would? I mean, I, I'm tempted. Okay, don't, don't don't hear what I'm not saying. But. I was about to say, I know your family. You're very <laughs> tempted. <laughs> You're the one lying to yourself. I mean. Right. Let me. Uh, let's see. You know, I never wrote down anywhere the measurements for how tall this thing was supposed to be. Um. I just have a couple of screenshots. Huh. Uh, and definitely going to need those. Bit of these, bit of those. These and those and dums and those. Let's go. So we're going to need two, four, six, eight, nine blocks wide. That's six, seven, eight. So, oh, it's going to be one block wider than the bamboo farm. Maybe I need to widen that out by one just to <laughs> make it symmetrical. That's a thought. That's a thought. <laughs> I, I might just have to do that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Next thing you know, it's going to be the size of the church. Nah. No, no, no. This is how it starts. This is how it always starts. It just needs to be Not one, always. one wider, one wall. The foot needs to, really? the wall needs to go out one foot. That's it. That's how Don't it be always silly. starts. You can't make it one foot bigger. Each block is a, a meter anyway. <laughs> You're not helping your case, sir. <laughs> I mean, if each block is a meter and your character is two meters tall, does that does that make my character taller than me? Yes. Yeah, I guess that does. All right. Um... Let me think about that. Oh, yeah. But now, yeah. think about how big the Endermen are. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't bear much thinking on, does it? <laughs> All right, I need to surrender. Why was there a... Why was there a... 
there a smooth stone block there? Alright, I guess I'll find out in a minute, won't I? Let's, uh... Nope, 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 nope. That was not, uh, not that deep. Not in that deep trouble. Yep. Not until we get to the lighting project. Then I'm in deep trouble. Yeah, I get a double check. Uh, I think if I power a... So basically, uh, I, I'm thinking of running a redstone line directly under the lamps, which should light the lamp above it. The problem is that once you get so many blocks away, it, it no longer provides enough power. And I'm wondering if... If I put a repeater into a target block or a note block and then take another repeater off that, will the powered note block or target block power the lamp and the lamps to either side? Which means that I would then power the redstone, the target block, the block over the repeater, the block over the repeater. That's, uh, that's no what idea. I need to figure out. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I'm more than happy to be a rubber duck, but this rubber duck knows nothing about what you just said. <laughs> well, I mean, that is the purpose of a rubber duck. And those of you wondering uh, what we're going on with that, look for the... Oh, there's probably a dozen articles on it now, or it gets repeated every so often. But you want to look up rubber duck debugging. Uh, it, it ostensibly started by some programmers, although honestly, I'm pretty sure there's some other people that made good use of it too. Do I really want just grass under there? No one's going to see that it's just grass under there. But I'm going to know that it's just grass under there. No, you're not. By the time you're done with the redstone, you're not going to remember anything about what you did to build that. No, no, I'll know. <laughs> it's one of those things, I, I'll know. Like, like, it bothered me that some of that wasn't as well covered up as it could have been, too. Then go back and cover it up. Well, I just tore it out to go make the, the system for shutting it off off when it gets full. I mean, I guess technically I got a little more time to go since since I built it. We're at, what, not even half a double chest on each of these? Yeah. And I just added another well, set of double chests in there, so I, I got a little more time to worry about that one. I wonder if I should sink this down one more level. Do I want to recess it down into the ground just one more? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. So, any interesting articles lately? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking about that. I didn't put anything in my notes, and no small part to most of what I've been listening to is the very subject I've decided not to talk about. Those two things might be, even be related. Um, so, I mean, and, and there was some really good tech news in the last few episodes, but I, I'd be hard for us to tell you anything specific sadly I and I couldn't even tell you why wow part of it part of it's been work part of it's been the impending move um, some of it's just been attention or lack thereof um, I have not had a chance to watch Mandalorian season one let alone Mandalorian Season 2. But uh, Tom and Brian have already started that. I did listen to the spoiler in time uh, for that, which was kind of fun. 
Because no, uh, by the time I get around to watching it, I'll, I'll have forgotten what they said other than the general impression of, you know, the things that they liked and the things that they didn't like. And apparently there's some reference that only people who read one of the... Uh, what, what, what's the term Disney likes to use for the books? They're, they're both trying to re- remind people that they have and forget that they have the uh, extended universe... Apparently, one of the events in Season 2, Episode 1, uh, makes a lot more sense to people who have the background knowledge of the Extended Universe uh, for Obi-Wan Kenobi and the whole Kite Dragon thing. Um, I wouldn't go that far. It, it, it helps for you to have watched the movies. Um, okay. I would, I would point that... I would point to episode four and episode six as being the ones that they are probably referencing that you need to know something from, hmm. but you don't necessarily have to know anything. The story oh, stands the... on its own. The story stands um, on its oh, own. Oh no, no, no! Don't, don't, don't misunderstand. They weren't saying that the story didn't stand on its own. They were just saying that it was one of those things that if you were familiar with the book, it would further enrich the scene. Yes, yes, it does. There are, um, in retrospect, there are probably about four Easter eggs that, um, if you have the benefit of, if you if you've watched episode four and episode six, uh, or the first and last of the original trilogy, then you're going to be able to have a little smile on your face or point at the screen like "aha" at certain points. <laughs> but um, otherwise, you're you're, you're okay doesn't hurt or deter it's it's good on its own um and that's all i'm going to say because i don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen yeah no 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 and and i am trying to keep my own (laughs) like yeah i I listened to spoiler in time it was good um as a general Um, principle unless unless it's something that i do intend to watch in the very near future uh i do listen to tom and brian do their spoiler in time version uh discussion about stuff because uh, if it's not something I'm going to watch right away, odds are pretty good. I'll have forgotten by the time that comes around. Uh, sadly. Yeah. I've been trying to get you to watch it for a while now, but... Tom. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, probably the only exception to that has been The Boys. Like... I, I did not expect to watch that as soon as we did. I, I figured that was going to be something that I'd probably get around to watching way later. And then, you know, there we are sitting there going, I need something to watch. What's on to watch? <laughs> well, Tom and Brian said that they like the boys. Uh, you you want to give that a shot? Yeah, okay, we'll watch an episode or two. So oh, you're talking about when we watched episode, or season one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about when we were watching season one. Uh, we knew, yeah, no. we knew we were going to binge season two. That was not, that that was just going to happen. That was an inevitability. Speaking of being able to binge stuff, I do mm-hmm. not like the pattern that they're turning into now, where they release oh, one yeah. episode as if this were some sort of broadcast TV. Yeah, the whole <laughs> one episode. Nuts. Of it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know what? People are going, uh, oh, well, you know, I mean, people still watch The Boys a lot. Mm. You know, everybody's thinking, well, I mean, Netflix Netflix with The Witcher went and, and, and did it the way that they've always been doing it, releasing a season at a time, and, you know, this, that, and the other. And... Yeah, and here you have... Um, Disney just released one episode at a time for The Mandalorian, so it's like, oh, I yeah. really hope this isn't a... <laughs> yeah, I, I... Oh. Well, I did ask him to put those there. <laughs> for the very reason that I kept missing the platform, but I didn't expect him to expand it out either. I'll happily take For safety nets. <laughs> yes, yes, they are safety nets. <laughs> and don't hear what I'm not saying, because that, that probably would have been another fall to my demise, and then there goes the 290 levels. 
as you slowly sink to the floor. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just that that time aspect that is like, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get to use those when we get snowy or snow. Because that's also supposed to to be a nice little uh, slow slow descent into madness. <laughs> All right. Um, no. I think I want to polish blackstone, and then I can make a blackstone pressure plate. Uh, that's also how you get the blackstone buttons, is with the polished blackstone. I'm glad ah. I found that, too. Yeah, because I, I knew there was a blackstone button. I knew there was. I'd seen it too much. Uh, down. There we go. And, and I just, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to make it with the blackstone until I found out uh, accidentally that it's the polished blackstone that makes the button. You know what they should have done with those lights in that elevator? They should have spiraled them down. <laughs> In which elevator? The one you just went down. Oh. Yeah. You say they <laughs> like it was somebody else. It's Medic. You, you can talk to him the next time he's on. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. no. No? No. No. You're not, mm -mm. not going to suggest a spiral elevator to him? No. Or is he going to hand you the sponges and the sea lanterns and... No, it's not. It's not that. It's a matter of respecting territory. Gotcha. I may think that's funny, but <laughs> let, let's face it: when it comes to interior design, he's like the king on the server. Yeah, he so he just does like have a better, better handle on the interior design than. Uh, yeah, yeah. So just at like least you and I. I, I, I won't go any further than that. So while it's the same with, like, say, you coming into one of my strip mines and telling me how to strip mine, that's probably not wise. One, because, well, <laughs> let's face it, I, I do it a lot more than you, so I'm more proficient at it. Uh, um, yeah, you, you just don't do it. You can have those thoughts. You just don't say them. <laughs> how many times am I going to open up the same box? 42. You're joking. No, I've already counted. We're at 42 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make a statistics website for everyone to go look at. How many times does a non-junior open the same redstone box in episode 57? D2. Is that, is that going to be the new, uh, is that going to be the new drinking game or something? Oh, I didn't mean to make mm -hmm. that many. Mm -hmm. I, I any more boxes. <laughs> you might have some if you didn't have five other shulker monsters out there. <laughs> that doesn't Get really quiet. even count. That, that's not a monster. All right, I got the one over by the, the, the tree church. farm. Two over by the church, three by the piglin farm. Plus the one you're building now, slowly but surely. No. Mm -hmm. There's two project boxes that are going back in my under chest with the other stuff that normally goes in my under chest. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Justify it to yourself. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Maybe I'd don't want the pressure plate there because that's going to power the dropper that normally goes in there hmm do I want to move that chest back and then uh, put a stair yeah I might have to do that We'll do that. Um, don't bother. Hmm. Oh, 
where is my stone cutter? I need to make some more too. I, I don't like having only eight or nine sitting there. I keep setting them down somewhere and losing them. I'm well, losing track of them. All right. Don't look at me like that. I can hear that look through the microphone. I'm sure you can. Except that's still not going to help, because that's going to power the stair, which isn't a full block and cannot be powered. Um, then maybe I just need to find a different place to put that. Leave that there. Oh, no, because then I can't open that up. So we'll keep that like that there. I'll find somewhere else to wire the button. Oop. Actually, I don't like that being down there anyway. I want to move the boxes up some. Let me sleep on a way to over-engineer this project far more than it has any business needing needing to be. Okay, I've slept on it. Let's do. some droppers. Decisions, decisions. Now we'll do that. We'll go to two in there. That means we can do that. that means we can do that. And I just need to cycle that back up. double chest there? We might need more than a double chest there. Let me think about that. Do, do you really need to think about that? Yeah, you're right. We need more than a double chest there. I was about to say, you need more coffee? I mean, that's... <laughs> uh, you know. I mean, part of it is, how much, how much purple do we actually use? How many low rods does Rast want? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that that's why I was building this, because of the end rods. The endless end rods. I'm making a bigger mess of this than I intended. Hmm. Stretch. 
I hear the clackety clack of a puppy who did not realize that uh, we are now back in standard time. Hmm. I did see an article in Scientific American. I think it was Scientific American. That uh, there, there's a big push to stop changing to daylight saving and back. And that, that would be amazing. we might finally, finally standardize on either daylight saving time or standard time. But we will switch one more time or not at all. Or at least that's what they're pushing for. Whether or not we get there is another question entirely. But that's what they're pushing for. And I, for one, <laughs> am rejoicing. Yes. And go look it up on the internet. <laughs> the number of... Uh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Because they're, they're attacks, citing the number, the number of heart attacks, the number of car accidents... Uh, workplace accidents and that kind of thing that are happening as a result of the time changes, particularly going from standard time to daylight saving time. And then you add in that you're not actually saving any time. <laughs> you know, I, I love how uh, one of the programmers I follow on Twitter was joking. He goes, man, now that sunsets, uh, two Zoom calls after lunch, I, I, I'm loving the extra work I'm getting done. <laughs> what? Daggo, man. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, that'll be enough light. I almost wonder if I shouldn't have put those in the corners instead, but that wouldn't have put enough light in the middle. Never mind. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I still haven't figured out what I want to do with this now. Uh, where do we go up. But then I gotta hide the redstone for that. Yeah, that's. Let me think about that one. I haven't thought this one through. I know I want that to come through there. place to be. Alright, let me just put that away. Um, am I running out of room? One box at a time. There, look at that. Clean project area. No shulker monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's go open those boxes over there. What's in there? Shulker monster. None at all. None whatsoever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It'll, it'll be back. I just hate that I, I added to. two more unfinished projects, and I still haven't figured out where the the <laughs> skeleton spawner is. It's down here somewhere. <laughs> Relaxing odds and ends. Yeah. Yeah. No. That. Why do you think I didn't start digging for that that spawner? <laughs> 
because that, that was not going to be relaxing. That was not going to be <laughs> relaxing at all. I turned this into a, from a completed project to an incompleted project. Well, I guess it wasn't really complete. The the overflow system didn't work. So, is it really complete if it's completely broken? Nah. But uh, I threw some more chests at the problem, and that at least extends the. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that pushes the point in time that you got to worry about it out a little bit more. Uh, this guy started, but not quite uh, not quite there yet. I guess I guess I could work on a little bit more of it though. Uh, I need some glass panes. Those are Those are in the corners. Look like they're in the corners. Except there's not one at the bottom there. I probably ought to go back into the world download and double check that before I get too much further, because that that still doesn't seem to look right. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Because this can only go up, not off to the side. I would have expected... Yeah. I don't think I have that right. That does not look right. that later. I have I am kinda half wondering if I can't get a flying machine to move the iron farm a little bit and nudge it that way too. <laughs> Just so it's out of range of the church and I don't have to worry about random iron golems spawning on top of the roof. Would be problematic. It can be. Hi. Hello. Personal space. <laughs> it's a thing. He just wanted to wish you a good morning. <laughs> yeah, you can move over. <laughs> yeah, this... This has been... This has been interesting. Um... It doesn't help that he builds it in creative, so it's easy for him to fly into positions to get some of this directional stuff working the way it should. And in the cases where even creative mode flying doesn't help him, he's actually got a mod that puts a little uh, five-way target on the block when you hold down a hotkey. So if you put it like in the top edge it actually moves it up and over one so it's diagonal from that block and, and a whole bunch of stuff like that that helps with uh, block placement. So you're looking at an hour-long tutorial and it is not an hour-long worth of work even if you're pausing, doing, pausing, doing because when you get to stuff like that guy right there, he shows you the first one and then says, and then do that 11 more times. Okay, now that you've done that 11 more times, like whoa 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 <laughs> wait wait a, wait a second hold 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 on <laughs> got that uh, R and B song in my head now hold up <laughs> anyway and he doesn't even step back to show you you know a wider view so it's like oh yeah and this is what the whole thing should look like when it's finished no it's just a look at the top layer and it's like um. So is that 11, 11 floors exactly like you had it? Or like nearly exactly like you had it? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> and yeah, the, the, now, that I'm, now that I'm looking at it, I'm finishing up where that's going to turn from a wall of logs into a line of logs. 
and then from here it'll go to wherever I end up putting the blast chamber which but no more than 12 away I'm guessing since that's the push limit um he's actually got a whole video with ways to redirect streams of blocks so basically as long as whatever farm you're making can reduce it to a single line of blocks uh, he's got little uh, push limit extenders that you can stick in the middle of it. So in other words, it pushes it forward and then over one and into a new line. And that you can then go over one and back into a line. So you can keep pushing it out further than 12 blocks. And all the different ways to turn a block stream so it goes across. And then if you want it to suddenly turn up. Or if you got it going this way and you want to turn it left. And it's all those little components, like, anytime you want to redirect the block stream, just do this right here. And it'll automatically work every time. 80% uh -huh. of the time, it works all the time. Yeah, well, I'm not convinced, but okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, so for this, oh yeah, and that's the other thing. I, I still get a... I'm probably got a lot more to do over on this side too. You see, this wall right here is the placeholder for the main tree trunk that's going to get pushed out from the center, out to the side, out this way, then that way. And I think this is where it's going to end up get, if I remember right, this is where it's going to end up getting packed down into a stream of blocks. Since uh, some of the trees, like acacia trees in particular, end up with that funky branch those are all going to get pushed out this side here into this guy which is going to get pushed over this way which will get pushed over this way and then somewhere over here get pushed into this block stream so they'll get merged together and that'll be a good way to learn how to merge two different block streams because I do uh, like I said at the top of the stream, uh, I do want to, once I get the blast chamber done and this hooked up, I want to set up a, a really like quick and dirty cobblestone farm that we can hit a, hit a lever and just let that go into the blast chamber. Uh, do the same for a quick and dirty basalt farm um, and anything else like that that I can think of that it'd be, it'd, it'd be one of those like really nice to have type deals. Um, I may even set up a, a, a concrete thing like what uh, Logical Geek Boy put up on his channel recently and then run that into the same blast chamber. But that thing, <laughs> that concrete maker runs so fast you have to have two hoppers feeding the dropper that's handing you the concrete because one hopper can't refill it fast enough. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have the one that Reyes made for small scale stuff. We'll have uh, the industrial section over here, I guess. And <laughs> I might, you know, I think this is the first uh, server we've had in a while that doesn't have a generalized mob farm. Like just a, a general whatever spawns spawns kind of mob farm. I don't think we needed it this time. Yeah, well... Especially when I had a witch farm in the first week, I mean... <laughs> yeah, the, the witch farm helped a lot. That that did help a lot. That, that certainly gave us uh, easier access to uh, enough redstone to make some of this other stuff work. Uh, and glowstone for some of the early lighting. But now, now I'm actually trying to think about it. it. What would we need the general mob farm for? Zombie flesh. We got plenty of that coming from the piglin farm, or Holy from the gold farm. Uh, we we got more. <laughs> like, uh, I think bone meal would be the only thing that it would provide us. Yeah, and, and that's where that's where digging up that skeleton spawner would come in handy because we'd be able to put that together. Oh, I gotta put together some armor stands. I want to put some people in the pews. And get some uh, armor stands sitting down. 
Well, we also have we, we have all that leather coming from the Piglin trading farm, so I might as well, you know, make some nice, you know, like black boots and brown khaki pants and different color shirts <laughs> and have them all sitting sitting around. Uh, we got enough mob heads that we could probably make a nice nice congregation out of it. Maybe right now I'll make them socially distant so they're all at least two seats apart. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, all these guys are packed full of rotten flesh. <laughs> and that's... Piggly Wiggly for a while, huh? Yeah. And that's my second run. I've already traded that much once already with each of these guys. And turned it into redstone and... A little bit of glowstone that's over in storage. Wow. Because I knew I was going to need the redstone for these guys. Oop. There we go. But yeah, th this has been an interesting, interesting learning experience. I, I don't know how much I've learned. But I'm pretty sure I'm picking up some stuff. <laughs> Learned how much you could hit your head against the walls. <clears throat> well, I mean, I know some of it, like alternating the honey blocks and the slime blocks, because honey and slime doesn't stick to each other. So it allows you to do huge walls like this without worrying about push limits. Um, I'm not entirely sure I understand how these double piston extenders are working, but. Um, I'm sure if I, I look around, I'll, I'll find enough of that. And same thing. So those two are going to both extend. Then this guy's going to extend, moving everything uh, out over here. That's the dirt block that everything's going to be growing on with the bone meal dispensers filling it. I think I've got that system pretty well understood. Because I've done enough other stuff along those lines with the... Um, Observer, dropper, elevators. And that's just where some of the other extraneous stuff is coming off that I don't quite... I'm not quite getting? And I'm going to dig out a proper basement so I can service underneath here too. It's just I realized that as I was building this out, I was going to have to light up underneath there so nothing uh, spawned and started shooting at me while I was working on the redstone. Because working on redstone is hard enough when you don't have random skeletons coming out of nowhere. There we go. All very true. <laughs> but I have a fairly insistent puppy throttling my chair. Yeah, well, you know, it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock, <laughs> but it's 8 o'clock. Don't you know it's 8 o'clock? I hope you didn't forget that it's 8 o'clock. You know what happens at 8 o'clock, right? Oh, oh yeah. I'm fully... <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. I will probably be gone when you end, so I'm going to say goodnight, everybody. <laughs> and I'll yeah, talk to you next I, time. I, I think at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here anyway. Um, all I've done is, uh, instead of multiple items, I got one item started, two items started, you know, adding to my incomplete project list. What, what's more relaxing than adding to your incomplete projects? I feel so much better now. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> I, I also forgot to do the big sea lantern that's supposed to be at the top of that, uh, guardian farm too. I probably should do AFK there when I get done. Because we're going to need more lanterns for that project. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. So, this is where I hit... There we go. There's my credit slide. And say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. This was intended to be a light-hearted... Um, directionless amble away from all the stress and things that are going on. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, because no matter what the results, the sun will come up tomorrow. And I hope I got that song stuck in your head. 
so you can have just a little bit of fun. Every time somebody is trying to incite you into a stressfully, oh no, this is the most important one of your lifetime. It has been the most important election of my lifetime for the last, how long have I been voting? Since 2000? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, guess what? Hyperbole is a thing. I hope I made that, uh, that, that, that joyful, every time somebody's trying to stress you out, you smile and start humming along. The sun will come up tomorrow, tomorrow. All right, I won't do that to you. <clears throat> so, have fun, enjoy, deep breaths. I do this Tuesdays at 6 p.m. from the Coffee Craft server. Uh, we're a little light on members today because various people are out and about, but we should have a full server next week. The week after that, I may stream or I may not. It depends on how far I am on packing because that is moving week. And that also means that Games Revisited, which I do Fridays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, uh, I will definitely do this Friday. I will definitely do next Friday. The Friday after that, I almost certainly will not. Because everything you see here, well, you know, you don't see anything but the blue background. But everything that's making this happen is going to be packed up in a box to move that Friday and Saturday. So uh, that that's going to be delayed. I I do not relish calling the cable company to get my service moved because I I deeply fear they're about to upsell me some stuff. And uh, I'll fill you in on that when I get to the other side of things. Keeping the language family friendly, which may not happen on that call, but anyway. So, everything, all my streams are going to go definitely the rest of this week. Definitely all of next week. Coffee Craft, most likely the week after that, but probably not Games Revisited. And then, uh, and then we'll resume back as soon as uh, I've got internet service at the new at the new place all set up, which should be should be fairly quick. That should be fairly quick. I mean, with what I'm paying them, it should be fairly quick. Uh, either way, live stream archives from this show get uploaded to YouTube. The episodes from Games Revisited gets uploaded to YouTube. And once I get settled into the new place, some other stuff should be making its way up to YouTube. So if you haven't already, head on over to YouTube, subscribe. Uh, that way you'll know when new stuff gets uploaded and added. Hit the bell if you want the, uh, the icons, or hit, hit the bell if you want the icons. Hit the bell icon if you want the notifications. <laughs> Don't forget to give stuff a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any quips, queries, quotes, quandaries, complaints, or other whatnot, leave that in the comments. I do actually read that. And I, I, I would like a little more than the occasional spam bot that wanders by and gets lost. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd normally pitch live.anonjunior.com as a place to tip, donate, and all that stuff, but uh, I've already rambled on too long. Have fun. Enjoy. I'll see you next time. <laughs>